Hey y'all, it's Martha here. I'm just popping in today to do my um, index card for hashtag altered index 2024 hosted by non-paper, non-stop paper crafts is the name of it. Anyway, you will find those links. Um, the color was light blue. The thing was paint and the word was dream well believe it or not i'm kind of having a hard time with this one but i did go ahead and i painted well i'm probably going to cover that up i started to paint it too but there's a mixture of a lighter and medium blue here so i think i'm just going to go with that and um i have this um Stress Oxide, Salty Ocean. I'm going to just go ahead and go around the edge with that. Just to give it a little finishing touch, maybe. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I doubled these up so the paint... I don't know, I just thought it would go hold the paint better to have two cards, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. Uh, that is if I can find my glue. I just had it. Here it is. I don't know, I just like the back to be covered. For now, anyway. And <clears throat> trying to get that on there a little bit straight, hopefully. These cards must be a little bit smaller than, or bigger than four by six. Just a little bit. So I'm just going to, instead of cutting it, just going to go ahead and add some of this salty ocean on there. Okay. Now, since I've already got my light blue here, and we are talking about paint, I don't know where I'm going to, if I'm going to use this. I like that kind of, but we'll see. But what I wanted to do was, <clears throat> I have this frame here, and I will show you in a minute why I want to use my frame. I think this one's going to probably be a little bit faster than what I usually do, which I guess is good. They don't have to take forever. So... And I have this little picture here um, of, from a calendar. It's Van Gogh's Starry Night. Wow, I got that stuff all over me. Didn't realize that. It's from Van Gogh's Starry Night. It's a piece of cardboard that came on the back of a calendar I bought. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down since that's painting, a painting. And it still has the year on there, 2024. Now I don't know if I want to use the doily or not, I kind of thought I might. And then, this little piece of lace here, I don't know if I want to use it or not. That remains to be seen. Now, I wonder how that will look if I 
put the base there. This is a, a stamp, a rubber stamp, and it has a cup full of paintbrushes. Or maybe I should use this. This is a palette. And I don't know if there's going to be room for both. I don't know, I kind of like this. I think I'm going to do that off to the side. And then I've got some more stamps here. Now my palette is too big for this area. Hmm. So let's just do, well I had a tube, here we go. This is like a tube of paint. I think I'm gonna put that right there and I'm gonna use this, um, stamping platform so I can get it hopefully get it in the right place and I do have some black ink here but I want to see I have a better brand I'm gonna see if I can grab it real fast is a mess again so let's just see how this will come out getting ink everywhere y'all trying to get in frame here okay let's try it and hope for the best It's not dark at all. That's better, somewhat, if I had the better ink. I don't know, it's buried here somewhere, but let's just try it again. Just kind of wiping around it because I don't want it to transfer over there in the wrong place. I think that's good enough. We can kind of tell what it is. Probably needed one more, but I've already took it off now. I'll take that off and clean it after the video. So that doesn't look too bad. So now I have a sentiment here, if I can find it, and it just says, hold on tight to your dreams. And 
and should I just put it across here? I think I will cut it. Hold on tight. To your dreams. It's kind of plain, but I guess it's okay to do it plain. But there is one more thing. I've got this sparkly ribbon here. I thought that might look interesting on there. We'll see. And I don't know how I got that much ink all over my hands. Now these scissors are not working well. Mm, I don't think it works. It's too bright for that, so maybe this will work. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty good. Adds a little something without being too glitzy. a different pair of scissors because those are really kind of dull. That's a little bit simpler than what I usually do. Maybe I got my cat over here in my way here. You need to move, little girl. Uh, I had some dew drops over here. So I'm gonna try those, but. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not very organized today. Here, we got a light blue dew drop. So let's try just one of those, just to make it look nice. Adds a little bit of something without being overpowering. Stop at just one. Okay, and then one over here just to finish it off a little. There 
is my index card for paint, dream, and light blue. Hold on tight to your dreams. Got paint brushes and a paint tube and a painting in a frame. And you know what? I think I'm going to go around the edge with a little bit of this black, too. I think it might... Help it stand out a little better. There, I like that just a little bit better. Alright, that's the first one I've had a hard time with, and I really don't know why. But, um, I think it is week 12. Maybe it's sure here. No, it's week 11, so since I'm not putting tabs on there, I will just put the 11 back here somewhere. There we have it, number 11. Light blue dream paint. All right, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you again soon in another video.